Chicago, Illinois, the backdrop of a lot of John Hughes movies. We recently checked out the filming locations of Home Alone, and now, in this same area on the north side of Chicago, we're going to locate every location we can find from the movie 16 Candles. And we're starting off here, where the movie opens at the Baker residence. It is pretty neat to see this house in person. I was a big John Hughes fan growing up and 16 Candles was probably my favorite, although if we're being honest, it was probably more about Jake Ryan than the movie itself. <laughs> but you know, Jake Ryan was a dreamboat, right? Total dreamboat. It's a gorgeous house. And there's several scenes here that are pretty memorable, one of them being Long Duck Dong laying on the grass here in the morning. The family was getting ready to go to the wedding, gathered around him right here. The end of the film, when they all went to the wedding, Jake Ryan goes up and knocks on the door and is told by Long Duck Dong that she's getting married. I might have to rewatch the movie, but I'm pretty sure that, that that house you can see behind him was covered in ivy at the time of filming. That house definitely had some ivy on the front of it. It looks fairly different without it. Jake Ryan's car would have been right about there. It's a pretty neat location, but we've got plenty more coming and uh, a, a special one that I'm, I'm very excited about. So let's go find some more locations. <laughs> Now, the school in the movie, at least the exterior shots, has since been torn down. So unfortunately, we won't, we won't be able to visit that today. I am here at Niles North High School. This high school was used for some of the interior scenes of the school, like the school dance in the gym and the shop. Uh, according to my research, I don't think the shop still exists, and I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see the gym. It is not very far from where Sam's house is, so I thought we could come check it out and see if we can see anything. This is the athletic entrance, and I think that that building right there is the gym. Wow, the acoustics in this little corridor are intense. I can see that though. That is, is that the gym? I don't know, I can't even tell because it's so dark inside. Does that look like gym floor? This must be like a corridor, and the gym must be an offshoot of one of these things. I did talk to someone. They told me that filming is prohibited, so I can't even see the gym, and it's understandable. It's a school. On to the next place. This is Jake Ryan's house. Right there on the doorstep. That is where they are contemplating whether they should go into the party or not. And the geek says one of my favorite quotes in the entire movie. He says, we have $70 and a pair of girls underpants. We're as safe as kittens. It's later in the movie that the geek pulls the Ro Rolls Royce out of that garage right there. Jake Ryan lets him take it out for a ride. That is a beautiful and massive house. This whole area is absolutely gorgeous. This is the house where the geek's friends live. I think the most memorable thing that happens here is the geek drives the Rolls Royce over here and they take a very bad picture of only him and not Carolyn in the Rolls Royce. It does look like there's a mom playing outside with her daughter, so we will not linger too long, but that's the house. We have arrived at Glencoe Union Church. This is where the wedding takes place. The door looks different. Maybe it was white in the film? No, it wasn't white. It's just a very different door now than it was in the movie. Either way, we're gonna try to recreate this scene. Yeah, you. <laughs> All this time I wanted Jake Ryan, but I got my own Jake Ryan. 
As a 16 year old, I loved 16 Candles. I never thought I would go reenact scenes from it, but here we are. <laughs> Jeremy's birthday was recently, so I got him a cake. It gets to be his sweet 16 today. Make a wish. It already came true. Aww. Should freeze frame on. <laughs>